All right, guys. Um, this is a bit of an update from Orange. Um, we're still in negotiations with them. Uh, well, I say negotiations. I'm, I'm now looking at legal action. I want to thank somebody for sending over this website relating to the documentation you need to send to them. Uh, basically, from what I... I haven't read it yet, but I, I guess it's a cease and desist order of some description. Um, but what you've got is, if you explained to them already, they never installed the internet, as we've already talked about multiple times. And then they've said, well, we've activated your phone lines. It's like, yes, because it was part of a package. Uh, and as you understand, you want to have a pack, as you cannot have the ADSL, you may want to finish the contract with your mobile line. No, it's a package. They're all part and parcel of the same thing. They failed to do the installation. Now, I know somebody's going to say, well, why don't you just pay that? It's, there's a reason for that. You'll, you'll come across this in a minute. Once you are paid, you can contact us, and we'll help you with the cancellation. They are not going to cancel it. I'll tell you that now. What they'll do is they'll run it on to next month, and then say, once you paid next month, you can then cancel again. It's a delaying tactic to get more money out of you. Now, the other thing is, you can contact the free number in Spanish. Orange have an English-speaking call center. So this is another, another lie and a delaying tactic, because they speak English. Um, and I, as I say here, I want to confirm there is no payment. So if I did pay this invoice, I wouldn't expect a termination fee, and ADSL was never completed. So basically, if I do this just to get rid of you, which is basically what I'm saying, will this actually just terminate it? Uh, we couldn't contact you, avoid the question. We couldn't contact you to activate the ADSL, another lie. Here's the bit that these guys don't seem to grasp. Their own call center, uh, sorry, their own orange installer guy, kiosk guy, is the contact for the installation of the ADSL. I'm less than 100 meters from his desk. So what happens is when they don't fall to call or turn up on the day, I would go into his shop and say, they haven't done this, they haven't done this. And he's kept a log of it all because he emails them, he calls them, and then they turn around and don't show up. And in the end, we gave this orange mobile phone help desk his phone number. So they're basically calling an orange phone kiosk to install my ADSL, and they didn't even manage that. And they sit there lying um that they couldn't get hold of us complete and utter lies um and as you keep it keep it put it in spanish in spanish in spanish you don't have to do it in spanish they never called and as we spent months trying to organize it and even your agent used his phone as i emphasized because we gave him their his details they still don't call and then they sort of go around it do you want to install it again we know they ain't going to install they can't um, and then they go on to this bit. Once you pay the outstanding bill, you can contact us and customer service to help with cancel. Now, as I said here, I want to confirm there is no other payment. Now, what they're doing there is avoiding the question. Because what they'll do, like I said, is you'll pay that amount, then they'll invoice you the following month. There was a woman in the shop when I was there who had exactly the same problem. Now, I've blocked these people from the bank. They can't, they can't um, charge me for this. They're not allowed to. Um, but the thing is, this is why they're demanding it. And as I've said to them, as soon as you can confirm there is no other payments, this is what I'll do, blah, blah, blah. But they don't want to do that. What they want to do is keep dragging it around and extort money off you. Now... This is when I started to go into the cancellation has been requested for weeks and constantly get told excuses from your office. We don't have the SIMs. They were returned with the internet router. You have told your own member of staff that they needed to wait for some activation period to expire. This is when they, I, I'll use this term loosely, illegally um, try to restart a contract without my authorization. Because basically... They had a four-week window to install. They didn't install it. So then they started another contract without my authorization, which then creates another four-week window. And that's what they did. Um, there you go. I hadn't agreed to it as your call center EQ the installation without my authorization after you failed for five weeks to install. You then told your agent he couldn't 
deactivate the sims until the new time frame had expired and are you refusing to disconnect the lines we don't even have now bearing in mind the bill that they're trying to get me to pay is for that period that they refuse to disconnect the line and reactivate an installation period without my authorization and then they go, oh, just ignore what you've just said. If you want to cancel, you need to pay, fix this pending bill and talk to our colleagues to request it. They ignore what you, they've just been told, and then they go back around in this loop. So then I start saying, this has been discussed multiple times. Your agents say the computers are broken, and otherwise there can't be a bill as I don't even have the sims. You have them in your office. I want the cancellation as I know what you're trying to do, which is get me to pay this month, then you'll try and do the same again next month. Very bad business practices. Is there any complaints commission for Spain? As would expect, I would like to file a complaint. Now, I'm not sure how this fits in Spanish law, but I believe in the UK, when I request the information from the ombudsman, they're supposed to provide it. Instead, what you have is an individual um, that has basically just ignored my chat now. You're refusing to terminate a contract that you broke by failing to deliver the service, now trying to extort money by harassment and threats. I request you terminate the contract immediately and cancel any related payments as they are not owed. Please provide me with information of the ombudsman relating to such matters. And at that point, they just ignore you. Now, for me, this is what I would call extortion. This is what I would call um, illegal practices. I'm going to contact Orange in the UK as well, and I'm going to send these videos over to them as well so they can see that they're, maybe I'll get somebody in Orange. I'm not sure how well connected they are as companies, but like I said, somebody sent me this web website over as well relating to the legal documentation I'll have to send over. And if I have to pay for a lawyer to do this and take it a bit further, I will do. Because um, quite simply, I will happily go through this process and the aggravation um, so I can then create these videos so that other people can stop being robbed by these people. And I'll quietly share other videos from other people that go through the same process, go through the same complaints, and find the solutions so that we can actually share this to get rid of these crooks. And they are crooks. This is extortion. Uh, this is fraud. This is... I mean, if it, if it, I mean, they basically renewed a contract without my authorization. As far as I'm concerned, it's a criminal act almost. Um, or maybe it is a criminal act. I'm not that um, familiar with the laws around this stuff, which is why they get away with it. But anyway, I'm going to share this back up onto YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. I apologize for my voice. I've got a very bad throat. Thanks for watching.